Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do Michel Mercier's makeup in the movie Angelique. So it's just a really stunning cat eye, very thick liner, kind of a blue eyeshadow, some nice arched brows, and a very subtle lip. So let's get started. Now I already applied my foundation today. I thought we'd just skip that step because it's a little boring just watching me pat on foundation. But just for reference, I used the Maybelline Fit Me today, and I just mixed two colors together to get um, as close as I can to my natural olive skin tone. So once you have your foundation on, just want to grab um, a nice concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Superstay. This one is in the color 15 Light. And what I'm going to do here is just a little different. I'm going to apply it in a nice circular shape underneath the eye. Now Michelle Mercier has gorgeous cheekbones and by doing this circular motion I'm going to try to emulate hers the best that I can and I'm just going to apply a little more around my mouth where I have some lines that I always like to get rid of and right on top of the lip and a nice wide stroke on the chin just again to try to get that face shape that she has. And then just on the bottom part of the nose, I'll be doing a different contour for the top. And just to finish off a little on the forehead. And I'm just going to quickly blend that in. And of course I'm just blotting it in. You never want to make long strokes, otherwise it'll just kind of blend into the makeup and you're going to lose that nice shape that you created. Now I'm just going to grab my Maybelline Superstay foundation stick. Even though it's a foundation stick, I use it for contouring because it has this nice shape and it's really easy to use. This one is in the color 356 Warm Coconut. And I know it's extremely dark, but when I do a contour, I like it to show. I don't, I'm not really a subtle type of person and it does blend in really nicely. Now if your skin is a, a bit fairer than mine, you might want to choose um, a lighter shade but this is the one that I find works well with me. Now, just to, again, get those cheeks of Michel Mercier's, I'm going to be applying my contour in a circular motion. And I find that if I make a kind of a weird closed lip smiling face, it's easier to see where my cheeks are. And I'm just going to try to get her nose shape here. It's a pretty defined bridge of the nose. And just to finish off, a little on the jaw. And let's blend this in. And again, you want to go kind of in short little strokes with this. If you try to wipe too much, it's just going to go places you don't want it to go. Obviously, that looks pretty natural, even though it's such a dark color. And I'm just finishing the nose contour with a nice flat makeup brush. It gives me a little more control. And now I'm just going to grab my Clinique Stay Matte Powder, and this not only takes away any shine, but it also just kind of helps blend everything one last time, so we don't have any harsh lines. Now the palette I'll be using is the Naked Urban Decay Wild West. Her makeup in this movie, the eyes are a very beautiful pale blue. And I don't have any pale blue. It's really not a color that I'm used to even seeing when I shop for palettes. So all I'll be doing is using a nice combination of the light 
and the blue. And it's great because if you want to try this look, you don't have to go out and get a whole new palette. You can just use a nice light color mixed with any shade of blue you have. So I'm going to start with the lightest color, Standoff, and just apply that generously over my lid. And now I'm just going to go in with the color Pony Up. This one is kind of a smoky blue. And I'm just dabbing it on very gently because I don't want it to look dark. So now we have the hint of blue coming in. And I'm just going to grab this other more saturated blue called Tex and do the same thing with a very gentle pat just to give me a hint of the color without making it look too dark. Now I'm going to give this a nice blend but I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and get a little more of that light color standoff on here so that when I give it a blend, it really softens it up. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is in place, I am just going to grab my eyeliner. This one is a dark brown in a pencil form. And this one is Bougies. 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 Here's the brand name and it's just in the color brown and this is just going to be for under the eyes don't want to go too thick or anything but just to accentuate in that bottom lash line make the eyes pop a little more So now let's move on to the liner, arguably the most important part of this look. I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner that comes in the pen form. This one is Secret of the Pharaoh it's by Ebon, but there's lots of brand. I have my Absolute, the Duo Stroke, I might even switch to that one. Um, L'Oreal Paris has a great one. I love these. They make for a really nice clean line and perfect for this type of eyeliner. In this movie she has a very thick line. It's almost arched if you look at the at the way it's put on. So it comes up right about just before mid eye and almost has a hint of a point and then it wings out. So I'm just going to slowly draw on that line. I like to draw it on and kind of build as I go. That way you don't have as many chances for mistakes because as we all know if you mess up your eyeliner then you just have to redo the whole eye and I know that my hand is kind of right in the way to see this I think it'll be better on the other eye. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and match this shape on the other side before I do the wing. And that just helps me remember exactly what I did so that they match. Or almost match. I don't think they ever match perfectly, and that's okay. Some reason my eyelashes have white makeup all over them maybe from my foundation and it's throwing throwing off my vision here but i think we're just about even so let's get the the wing and then after i apply the mascara and i can see a little more clearly we'll make sure the, sure those 
uh, match up. So she has a very curled um, wing in this one. So we don't want to go straight. We're just going to take a nice, nice curved line. All right, I think, I think that's all set, but let's get the mascara on because this eye looks so strange right now. So I'm just going to grab my Revlon. This is the ultimate all-in-one. And just because it's good to change up your mascaras frequently, I usually just go for a fairly inexpensive one. I always like to get a bargain when I can. And then I just use it and use it until it's gone rather than having a whole bunch of different types and that you just have to get rid of. Okay, much better. Now I don't look so off balanced. Now for the brows. She does have beautiful, full, arched eyebrows. So because mine do not arch very well, and they're not too full, all I'm going to do is grab my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. This one is in medium brown, and even though I have dark hair, I always choose an eyebrow pencil that's a little lighter, because I think actually matching them to my brows makes it look a bit too harsh. And I'm just taking little short strokes to fill in the front here. And then I'm just going to create a very light line, extending my brows up into an arch. And then we'll just fill in that patch. Ah, much better. And we'll just do the same thing over here. Okay, so now for the lips. She has a very natural, subtle pink color on her lips in this movie. And because my lips are so kind of bright pink, I'm just going to grab my Maybelline concealer and conceal them a little. And that way, when we put the actual lip color on, it'll let that color kind of pop rather than compete with the pink underneath. Oh, that's frightening. So I'm going to use a combination of lip colors here. First, I'm going to grab the NYX the Powder Puff. This one is in the color Puppy Love. And this one is just almost salmon-y, but it's a, a light but bright pink. And I love the way it goes on because there's no harsh lines. And I'm just going to go nice and light with that. Because again, I'm trying not to get that bright pink color under there, but I do need a little something, otherwise the nude will just match my skin. So next I'm going to grab my Kiko lipstick, uh, this is in the color 01, just a very pretty nude. And I just started using this brand, I know nothing about them, but I saw their store in Spain, popped in, they're having a big promotion, and so far I've loved everything. And this is the completed look, so I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know what I should do next. I always love recommendations and suggestions, and I wish you all a very happy holiday season, whatever you celebrate, whatever you do. Stay safe, have fun, let your natural beauty shine however you choose to wear your makeup for the season, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.